Hello, in this tutorial we're going to look at rolling up documents. With inside the Lightning Conductor web part we can simply hit the drop down and choose Create View. Under Create View we're going to go to the web part tab and provide a name, so we're going to call this Documents. We're then going to select the Data Source tab and choose Multiple Site Collections and I'll select three different site collections that we're going to aggregate from. We can then choose the list or library type, so in this case I'm going to choose the document library template, and it's possible that you might also have some content types that you want to filter by, so you could filter by the content types as well. And I'm also going to go through and apply the persistent and dynamic filtering allowing me to filter with inside the web part but also allowing the users to filter in addition to that. Under the columns tab we can go through and select the columns that we want to display from those document libraries. Now this will also include any custom columns as well. So uh, what I can do is simply go through and select things like the name column. We can choose uh, things like the file size which is useful to see. Uh, we could see who created the document when it was created and we can also see when it was last modified. Once we've selected those columns we can drag and drop them into the order that we want them to appear in so I'll drag the name column all the way up to the top. We can start to set the display format as we have done for the other views so on the name column I perhaps want to hide the file extension, I don't need to see that. We could uh, set the created date to be a short date, the created by to show the user's presence, and we could show the file size maybe in megabytes instead of kilobytes. And we can also set our modified data formatting as well. We can group by multiple columns, we could also sort as you've seen in previous videos. Uh, and we can also filter as well on each of those columns. What I'm going to do first of all is simply navigate across to the display tab and show you some specific things that we should maybe apply when we're aggregating documents. So we're going to set the uh, items per page to 100 and in here we're also going to group by folders and we'll hide any empty folders. We're going to set the group initial state to collapsed and we're going to show the document icon. So all of these are very relevant to what you would consider doing inside the document library rollup. The linking column we're going to set to the name, the file leaf ref column. So we'll basically go through and select that and we can choose whether or not we want to open up the document directly. In other words when we click onto the link do we want it to open up in Word or Excel if it was the file type? Or do we want to show the sub menu? And the sub menu would be the drop down menu, allowing me to choose whether I want to open up the document directly or navigate to the properties. I personally prefer to navigate to the properties anyway, so that the user can then decide whether they want to edit the properties there and then, or also go through and open up the document and have access to other things like checking in and checking out the document from the ribbon. So now that we've done that, we're basically going to click save. and we have 100 documents displayed on the page here so as we scroll down we can see all of those documents and open them up and notice we've got 12 pages of documents here uh, to have a look at one of the things you might consider doing uh, before rolling up documents is just check on how many documents are actually going to be included so what we could do is go through and configure the view again And in here, under the web part tab, we can show some statistical information. This is not something that you want to leave selected, but it's useful to see before adding this web part into production. So as you can see, the entire rollup is taking around about four seconds. That's rolling up from 94 lists and including 1,243 items. Now that's something we could certainly improve upon, but one thing to notice is when we refresh the page, the page loads 
and then the lightning connector rolls up the content afterwards so it's not interrupting the page load time albeit we'd probably still want to see that content a little bit quicker than within four seconds so if we go through and configure the view one more time one of the things I can do here is enable caching and we can set the expiration timeout as well so obviously as new documents are created or documents are modified we want to reflect those modifications or those new documents within the view of the lightning conductor but every 10 minutes should be short enough to be able to see those changes so we'll set that as our expiration timeout and I'm going to hit save one more time So this time notice that we're rolling up from the same 94 lists with 1243 items but the actual roll up duration is taking less than a quarter of a second. So let's get rid of our statistical information. So by clicking onto the web part tab we will deselect the statistical information option, hit save and now you can see as we refresh the page that those items are being rolled up extremely quickly indeed and nobody's going to complain about the performance of uh, a roll up across site collections.